Welcome back to another creative tutorial. Today we're going to continue our assistant tool series and go over the two ellipse options that are available. I'm combining them into one video because they're pretty simple and self-explanatory. They're ellipse assistant tools. There's not anything crazy to them. So once you get your assistant tool activated, go over to the tool options and then we're going to start with the concentric ellipse. We're going to make our points and you can see we have the ellipse here. We can make it a perfect circle if we hit the shift key and hold it or we can make it an oval if we want. So I'll just make it an oval. And everything else is the same after we make that assistant tool. Nothing has changed really. We can make the color different all that good stuff. So now we're going to go back to our brush and go to snap to assistance. So here you can see this ellipse moving outward and kind of following my cursor. If I go ahead and start making some lines, you can see it's not really bound to the original oval that I made. I can keep making strokes as much as I want within this shape. But I can shrink it, I can stretch it, I can basically have a little bit more flexibility. This is pretty good if you're doing any intricate design work and you need to have like the shape there but not have it be the same shape and having to go back and make more assistant tools and all that. And I have used this a couple times myself recently, like very recently, because I needed to use it in such a way. You can even go back and change some colors here, make it fun. And that's, that's pretty much what makes this the concentric uh, ellipse. So if we go back to the assistant tool, I'm going to delete this and I'm just going to turn that layer off. And we're going to go back to the ellipse tool. So it's the same thing when we make our points. You can hit shift to make a perfect circle or let it, let it go and just make an oval if you want. So I'm just going to make another oval. And we go to the brush tool. It should stay on snap to assistance. You can see that there's no extra um, line that's going to be popping out either expanding from that original shape or shrinking it down. It is strictly to the one that I made. So if, if I make this a thicker line so you can see that a little better, it's stuck to that original shape which is something that you may want in your work. And those are the two ellipse tools. There's nothing um, any different in terms of like functionality between, um, with the settings, it's just a matter of if you just want a simple ellipse shape to draw from to help you make a, a certain oval or circle, you can either have this shape or the concentric. And that's it. Very simple, easy to use. Honestly, I think this is probably the one most people would use the most often in their work. And I highly recommend you try it out. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. As always, I'll do my best to answer them. And I will see you in the next video.